Hi everyone, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this tutorial, we are going to combine the learning of arguably our favorite song of all time, Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong, which you heard in that intro performance, as well as develop our arpeggio and chord extension and the add notes for the chord to make them sound really innovative, really cutting edge and really fancy. It depends on what word you want to use. So ultimately, a chord extension will add to a triad. So if you take an F major chord, for instance, you're going to add a note to that. And I'm going to brief you on a little bit of theory before we get started. And after which we are going to apply all of our added chords, all of our jazz extensions, including some slash chords into the song, Wonderful World. And I'm not just going to teach you one part, I'm going to teach you the whole song. So stay tuned, bring out your keyboards and if not anything, this will also be a very good piano arpeggio drill because I'm going to involve both hands and all of your fingers. It's just going to be a nice 6 by 8 arpeggio pattern. So get your keyboards ready, uh, get a notebook as well which might help and you could pause the video and get yourself a copy of the staff notation which is waiting for you on our Patreon page. So let's get cracking. The song is on F major scale but before I teach you the chords and as I sing along, Let's first look at the concept of some of the extended harmony or the extended chord movement. So if you take a major chord, I'm going to develop extensions or different sounding variations of major as well as minor chords So in this lesson or in this rendition of the song. So if you take an F major chord, okay, now how do we extend it or how do we make it more colorful, right? So you, you could do an add to... F, G, A, C, that's an add 2. We also call that an add 9 in music. You could also do an add flat 2. Which makes it a bit more Eastern or Arabic in nature. That would be an F major add flat 2 or flat 9. I prefer the add 9 which is more normal. It colors up both the major as well as the minor chord. So I'll show you the extensions for the major as well as the minor. So if you take F major, you can add the 9 or you can add the 9 to the minor chord. And the concept of these add notes would be during arpeggio playing because if you just squash down all of the four notes together, in this case an add 9 minor, or an add 2 if you want to call it 2. 9 is 2. So if you if you want to do it like that, it sounds nice. It sounds quite mysterious and very interesting in nature. But when you arpeggiate it, it sounds really beautiful. So that's one of the main reasons why we are going to learn these extensions. Okay. So that was about 9. Then we can do an add 11 or and add four or a perfect fourth to both the major and the minor. Let's see how that goes. So this is F major. So if you have to add a, a four to this, there we go. That's your B flat, which is the four in the F major scale. That's a diatonic one. And you can even, even do an add sharp four, which makes it a very Lydian modal sound. The Lydian mode has a sharp four, right? You can even do this with a minor chord. It's a minor add 11 as we call it very often. When it's major for some reason a lot of them call it add 4 but you can call it add 4 or add 11. So that's F minor add 11. That's added the tritone or the sharp 11 or the flat 5 depending on what you want to call the B can also call it a tritone. So that's add 9, add 11. And in this lesson, we are just going to do add 9 and add 11. So moving forward, you can then go add sharp 5, which is an augmented fifth. That's your C sharp. You can do an add 6, which is just an F major 6 or an F6. So add 6, add sharp 5, then do the same to minor. 
you get that add flat six that very x files kind of sound then in fact that is the x files theme if i'm not mistaken i hope this video doesn't get taken down but anyway that's add flat six and then you have an a minor sixth chord which is a minor chord with a major six and all of your other extensions would be alongside the major you can then do something with a major seventh something with a dominant seventh or a flat seven so if you do major seventh the resultant chord over a major triad would be a major seventh chord with a major chord you do a minor seventh or a dominant seventh it will be called a dominant seventh chord or a seventh chord if you do it as a major seventh on top with a minor triad it will be called a minor major seventh you do a minor seventh on top with a minor triad supporting it or a minor bass it would be called as a minor seventh chord and then you have a few variations alongside maybe the diminished and the suspended and the augmented variety so if i take you maybe through a diminished chord just so that the video kind of explains all of this in some detail f diminished and now you add a minor 7th to a diminished chord and it becomes an f minor 7th flat 5 also known as a half diminished chord you add a diminished 7th to a diminished chord and it will become a diff a diminished 7th chord okay a diminished 7th in simple words could also be visualized as a major 6th alongside your root okay so that's major 6th or diminished 7th and when you couple it or stack it with a diminished chord it becomes an f diminished 7th chord and then you could do stuff with the augmented as well add a 7th to it that will be an f dominant 7 sharp 5 or an augmented 7th you could call it that you could even do some extensions over a suspended chord so if you take an f f sus 4 you can add a la 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 that will be an f7 sus 4 beautiful chord i use that quite often in my songs so let's now put all of these concepts together with the chords of wonderful world and if you think about it the chords of the song are quite simple they in the original it's just 6 by 8 uh, on triad so the basic pattern which i want you to learn the 6 by 8 pattern would be something like that that's low note middle note high note and the octave of the low note so if this is your low note low middle high low octave but when i say low octave i mean you just copy the low note up the octave to get that nice 6 by 8 lazy cyclic kind of pattern so perhaps you can get this going before you take the responsibility of then playing all these other chords which i have for you there we go so So this is the bass pattern. It's just going up and down, and the time signature you could argue is six by eight, or if you want to count it as twelves, one, two, three, four. Then it'll be twelve by eight or four by four in triplets. Okay. So now let's get started with the chords I have for you, the extended chords. So I'll play it and then teach. So the first line would be F major seventh, A minor seventh. then a nice little slash chord which is a b flat over f and then a, a lovely f major 7th inversion so this goes during the verse of the song i see trees of green red roses too okay so let's put those or let's do two chords at a time f major 7th A minor seventh, and just observe my inversions and my fingers. I've chosen to play A minor seventh as G A C E because it voices very well. It's quite smooth when you hear it alongside the F major seventh, which I banked on starting with. So let's do that. I see trees of green. 
I see trees of green And now let's do red roses too Red roses too That's B flat over F That's starting the B flat triad with an F bass So it creates a slash chord uh, sound Red roses too And I love this inversion of an F major 7th You can call this an F major 7th over A Red roses too Some some nice bass movement in there Do Okay The whole first line uh, of Wonderful World I see trees of green Red roses too Okay now I see them bloom for me and you Okay let's walk through those chords Okay, that's a G minor 7 sus 4. I see them. That's G, B flat, C, F. So it kind of removes the fifth and it plays a C. I see them bloom. I love that voicing of F add 4. So you could call this an F add 4 slash A. I see them bloom and when you play it on the piano it's quite easy it's just G B flat C F then you move your pinky in the left hand or your thumb of the right hand to A and you get the next chord I see them bloom now let's do for me and you for me and you so I'm doing A add 4 for me and you Okay, that's A add 4 which is A major plus a nice D here that creates the add 4 For me and you So what's that there? It's a D minor with an add 9 or an add 2 You Okay, let's do the whole I see them bloom for me and you part I see them bloom for me and you Okay, and I think to myself is very easy It's just one chord I voiced it like this It's a Even in the original there's an A flat bass So I figured we'll put that in there So that's a D flat add 9 Which is like a D flat with the 9 or the 2 And I think to myself remember it's the same arpeggio drill low 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 higher higher coming back down over 6 8 I think to myself so that's a D flat add 9 over A flat think to myself ok that's twice of that and then what a wonderful world I like this voicing of a it's tough to name this really the way I, I've thought of naming this would be a G minor G minor 7th add 6 no 5 that's the name deal with that so the the notes are G B flat E F if you want to play it in this style so oh what a one I chose that because it's very easy to shift on the piano and it sounds very colorful at the same time. So I wanted maximum color and ease of shifting to a point that if you want to sing it as well as play it on the piano, you should be able to play the piano blindly. In the sense, you should not look at the keys. You should just focus on your lyrics and your singing and do that job primarily with your conscious brain. So, and I think to myself is over and I think to myself what a wonderful world. What a wonderful Okay, again. What a wonderful Okay, now the word world has some serious stuff in there even in the original. So, I'll play it and then teach. Word. Okay, let's look at that. Just world, one syllable, but a ton of chords in there, which I think you'll enjoy once you learn it. So, a wonderful world. What's that? That's an F major seventh over C. Word. 
Now it goes into a beautiful A augmented. But you can just look at this as, hey, I've just played C E F A. Now I'll just move my low register to C sharp, and you get that fancy A augmented over C sharp bass. Whoa. And then B flat major seventh over D. Okay, then we end with a C sus four, C seventh because I want to come back to the tonic. So my my hands were all the way there, and sonically it may not sound smooth. So I just developed this broken arpeggio. At the C sus four, C seventh, and then we repeat our verse. So let's just do, um, and I think to myself on verse, and we'll do the whole verse, and then move on to the next part. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. So then it goes into the second verse, which is almost a carbon copy of the first verse. So let me just walk that through, and that will also help you revise the first verse. So I see skies of blue and clouds of white. The bright blessed day, the dark sacred night. So let's revise it again, even though it's pretty much the same. To A minus seventh, B flat over F, F major seventh over A, the beautiful G minus seventh sus four, and then F add four over A, A add four, D minor add nine, and I think to myself. Quite easy, and then the same as earlier. G minor seventh, that cool voicing without the fifth. Oh, what a wonderful world! And now it changes. The last line will change very slightly, and we go F major seventh, G minor seventh, G minor seventh flat five, F major seventh over A. So let's break those uh, arpeggios down. F major seventh, G minor seventh, G minor seventh flat five A. That's that beautiful F major seventh over A, which I seem to have a soft corner for clearly. So I just love that sound. So F major, what a wonder! And I think to myself, okay. What a wonderful world! Oh, 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 oh. So let's now go into the B section. So I'll just play you the first uh, sentence, which is the colors of the rainbow. The colors of the rainbow. So what's happening there? That's G minor seventh. With an F in the bass, so I've inverted it like that. The colors of the rainbow. Okay, so pretty in the sky. So pretty. I've chosen this very pretty F major sixth chord, which is I think the most glamorous of them all. So pretty in the sky. Now that's the word sky. We are doing sky. Okay, that's C F A B flat A F. This is your chord, so you could call that as an F sus four over C. Sky. Okay, let's do that line again. <clears throat> the colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky. Okay, are also on the faces. Are also on the faces. So I've just moved my hand up to play the regular old G minor seventh. Are also 
on the faces of people going by of people going by i'm doing of people going by just to create some tension i'm dividing that bar into two chords of people that's f major 7th over a people going by i see by i see Okay, let's just do colors of the rainbow until uh, people going by. Okay, the colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people passing by. I see friends. Okay now coming to the next line and before I I may have forgotten to mention this the left hand and the right hand are playing absolutely ditto the left hand and the right hand are doing the same arpeggio pattern and I've kind of done this for a reason there is going to be a part 2 of this particular lesson a, a way more advanced uh, video of arpeggios to kind of take this to the next level so do this wait a bit and practice it a bit rather and then head over to part 2 which will be released to way very shortly and i may call the video chaotic arpeggios or apocalyptic arpeggios or something like that i've run out of adjectives for arpeggios we do a lot of arpeggio videos on our channel and you should probably check out the arpeggios a uh, playlist in our description as well as our website a lot about them on our channel as you people have requested our loyal subscribers so here's another arpeggio video i see friends shake hands we go on a lovely d minor adds add flat 6 i had to bring in that x file scored into the party so d minor add flat 6 so i see friends shake hands Let's do that again. I see friends shaking hands. Now we repeat that. Saying how do you do? Friends shaking hands. How do you do? Same calls. Okay. I see friends shaking hands. Saying how do you do? Okay. So the very last line they are really saying before we get to the I love you part. Uh, again, let's revise that. F major 6 they really saying F sharp diminished 7th and then a good old G minor 7th in root position I love you and then I like this broken up C 7th you because it helps you come back to the verse and then carbon copy it okay I, I love you So that C seventh with a G starting, and then C seventh with an E starting. You, I see trees, and it goes on and on. Okay, so the arpeggio pattern. I think you may have already learned this kind of pattern before, but maybe you wanted to. improve your voicing or enhance the voicing of the chords and hopefully this lesson conveyed those enhancements and just in a nutshell we have enhanced our chords by adding the jazz extensions the sevens the nines we've also added to the existing triad by doing add 6 add flat 6 add 4 etc we've also slashed the chord we put the chord with a different bass in the left hand which could be a chord tone of the same chord or otherwise you know and a lot of this stuff is mentioned individually we leave you some of the videos in the description which cover the theory of all these things as well as other practical exercises for example there's a 6 by 8 beginner piano video which you'll find really useful if you're kind of finding this a bit tricky and you want to start from the basics of 6 by 8 head over to that chapter in the description and we've also explored all of these add chords and these extended chords in the terms of theory where it's really really deep dived into okay guys so uh, in a nutshell what have we done now we've done wonderful world by louis armstrong an arrangement with both hands trying to play simple up and down 6 by 8 arpeggios and making those arpeggios very colorful and unique with the 
added chords, the extensions and the slash chords fitted in. Hope you guys enjoyed the lesson and the sheet music is waiting for you on our Patreon page. Do consider getting your, yourselves a copy there. You'll also get the MIDI files as well. So you can import that into one of your free MIDI players and get going with your learning journey like that. And if you want a more structured environment to learn music, you can always consider Nathaniel School of Music for a foundation course or an intermediate course at any skill level and at very convenient timings as well. You can head over to our website or you can fill, fill up a form which is in the description. Thanks a ton for watching the video. Cheers.